All right, where we left off. Uh, games. These games here. You recently uh, acquired some new games? Yeah, uh, I bought a game called Amnesia. Uh, I haven't played it yet. I'm waiting until my vacation comes up here soon. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you said you played the first one? Yeah, I played The Dark Descent, and I thought it was really good. Uh, it's different. It's not like the... Because it seems like every game that comes out nowadays is a first-person shooter. And it, it really does. And I'm really just not into that, man. I'm so over that. I, I'm, I'm thinking about getting into Battlefield, though. And giving it a shot. Well, I, I guess that's a little bit different because there's vehicle stuff, too. Yeah, and, like, it's, I don't know, like, urban combat and stuff. I mean, it's, like, more more than just, like, I don't know, like, 8 on 8 or whatever. It's, like, massive amount of people. But did you hear that Call of Duty added a dog and a girl? <laughs> what? I guess that's the big innovation they made for this year's game. For ghosts? Yeah, yeah they, 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 they made a dog and a girl. Is it playable? I think so. You can play as a dog. I know, right? You run around and, like, kill people? Sniping people with your fucking... I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> you shoot bones at With your red rocket? <laughs> uh, <laughs> red rocket! No! Oh, that's a new ah! <laughs> Would well, that be a new tube or a pro pipe? It's probably if a pro you, pipe. <laughs> so a pro, pro pipe would not use it, but it's a new tube when anyone else uses it. Oh, okay. <laughs> The good old Red Rocket. Go out ripping people's throats out? You can be a girl now? Like, is that playable, like, when you're actually playing the not campaign mode? Yeah, I think it's um, one of the skins you can choose for... It's a female? Yeah. Remember we played Gears of War, and, like, that chick was your de facto girlfriend, and you kept getting <laughs> pissed and, like, saying she had a sweet ass? <laughs> yeah, she did have a sweet ass, though. It was. Pretty pretty sweet ass for a fucking video game. <laughs> I know. N- not, as, not as big as Nikki's, but... Yeah. Hey, no one's ass is, no one that, ass is that big. <laughs> I was like, fuck! No, it, was, it was good. Um, it's kind of weird that you can like play as a dog. Maybe play as a dog. Yeah, I know I, I know that there is a dog. Because people keep making jokes is, about is it. Isn't it in campaign mode, maybe? Maybe. Or maybe you like, get like some get attack dogs or something. I don't know. And you can control them? And, like, it's it's pretty sad. Like, we're talking about Call of Duty. And, like, I don't, neither of us play it. Neither of us play it. We just like, only know of its existence. Yeah, it's like... Everything we're saying is like pure speculation. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are stupid. They don't know. <laughs> you guys don't play Call of Duty? No, we fuck chicks. Sorry. <laughs> we're not gay. We're not hobbits. <laughs> we fuck hobbit chicks. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get yeah. off in the hobbit hole. So, so tell me more about Amnesia since I really don't know much about well, it. Well, it takes place in like some olden ass times and all you have is like a lantern. And you wander around and like you're running from monsters and shit, and it's cool. Do they like run at you and chase you? And you yeah, you gotta from? hide. That's all you can do. You, is you, you can, have to hide. Yeah, you you have to like. How do you hide so like they don't just like oh there he is? Well, you get you can run and like get enough distance in between and like you can knock shit over and like to like get stuff in their way to like slow them down. And you can hide and stuff. And it's like ho- total monst- horror movie style. What kind you're, of like, monsters? You're like in a fucking what like kind a of shed thing, like just monsters. Like there's not, it's not like. Any specific, like not werewolves and vampires stuff. It's like monsters. Like just, I don't. I guess I don't understand. Like Silent Hill creatures. Like just weird shit. So it's not like um. Uh, You're Dallas. not getting chased by Frankenstein dog. I'm just gonna tell you. No. Right uh, I was thinking more like Slender Man. No. Have you okay. played Slender? That's another game. No, I haven't. I but think it's free it looks, to download. You should try. I it. think it is, and it looks. Isn't that another game where you're like you kind of like like. Flashlight. Yeah, you have, you have or, a flashlight. And you have to find clues. To, yep. Yeah, you have to f- solve the mystery without Slenderman getting you. Mm-hmm. And he like randomly pops up, and because you have to like constantly, you have to constantly like spin around to make sure he's not creeping on you. Well, if you look at him, then you get caught. So you have oh, to make really? sure. Yeah, if you see, if you look into his face, you get caught. I think is the Slenderman thing. Oh, I guess I don't know. I'm not really into it, but I think it's cool that it's creepy. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a creepy game. I'm surprised you haven't played it. Yeah, uh, I you know every time I fucking get on my computer, I just jerk off and go to sleep. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, not, not in that order though. Yeah, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, ooh, <laughs> whose hand is this? <laughs> this is a manly hand. <laughs> not really. Oh, I have little tiny fingers. <laughs> These hands were not meant to play music. <laughs> get the devil's hands. Yeah, I know. You can teach you how to play that flute. The robot devil. Skin flute. Skin flute. <laughs> but I'm better at playing the upright organ. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I can tickle the ivories with the best of them. <laughs> the tonsils. So I've been, uh, I haven't really been playing any new games whatsoever because I'm poor white trash, but I have played a game, Limbo, Limbo from a couple years ago. That game is the shit. 
Do you, but, do you like actually like going to limbo bar? No. Nothing. Like Nothing that. like that. Nothing it's like limbo, as in the concept of like the place between heaven and hell, like oh, that kind okay. of limbo. And you're like a dead kid, and you're just like running through this incredibly creepy world. How and you, what's the objective? Uh, you just gotta get from one end to the other. I haven't beaten it yet because uh, every like me and Dirt might play it when we're together, and he's always like, "I'm gonna play a different game." I'm like, okay. <laughs> Oh, Derek Bike's my son, by the way. Those of you that don't know that. Yeah, that's his. That's his his name. actual name on, on his birth certificate says Dirt Bike. Dirt Bike Brogan. Yeah, Dirt Bike Brogan. It's, he was named by his uncle Keith. Yeah, he, he was inside his mom, and he was already predetermined that was going to be his name. And his uh, mom didn't have anything to say yep, anything no about choice. it. And the only reason we know that name actually works is because people we meet. And our parents and our friends' parents is also only know him as Dirt Bike. They don't call him anything else. Yeah, it's Dirt Bike. Yeah, like everybody calls him that. They're like, does he even have a first name? We're like, yeah, it's, 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 dirt, bike. it's dirt Bike. And if They're like, are you serious? Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed this yet, but I say dog a lot. Like, what's up, dog? So if I say that to him, he'll be like, I'm not a dog. I'm Dirt Bike. So even he knows. Yeah, he, <laughs> he even knows he's, he's a Dirt Bike. That's that's pretty sweet. But sometimes he's also jerk bike, and sometimes also turd bike. So <laughs> <laughs> just, just depending on which frame of uh, frame of mind he's in. Like when we're over here trying to watch UFC, and he starts and he keeps crying to leave, and then finally when we leave, he's like, "Bye." <laughs> yeah, that's that awesome. He throws a temper tantrum in the moment, like, "All right, we're leaving." I'm like, "Bye, dirt bike," and he's like, "Bye." Like, couldn't be any more happier. All the crocodile tears were gone. Yeah, motherfucker. He's got crocodile tears, and Brandon Lloyd has alligator arms. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> My T-Rex arms. No. Ah! So I also bought a couple more games, which okay. I don't know if you play them. Did you ever play the first two Max Payne's? Yes. I Did you play them. the third one? I've not played the third one. I love the first two, though, a lot. I, I really enjoyed the storyline from the first two immensely. Um, I do have the third one. I haven't played it yet. I'm also playing yeah. it through my what, vacation. What about, yeah. I'm going to play it all those on my vacation. Um. I bought Witcher 1 and Witcher 2. I've heard those games are good. I, From what I understand, uh, it's kind of like you're playing a movie, but you also have like all these choices you can make of what you want to do and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that looked pretty cool. So I bought those for like 7 bucks on the Steam sale. Yeah, Steam's fucking awesome. I, I, yeah, all those Black Friday and all those sales, like... Ten bucks for games and shit. I was gonna buy Saints Row, but it was still thirty bucks. And I was like, oh, I'll wait. Yeah, I like Saints Row, but those games I, get. I really, haven't played them. They get really boring. I haven't, to be played, really I haven't played any of the Saints Row games. Not one. If you like, that's one of those games where, like, even though the story is crazy, stupid, ridiculous, you should play the story mode instead of just going off and doing your own thing. Even though, like, that's what the world is like. Oh, it's sandbox. Go do whatever. Yeah. But the first one is kind of grounded in reality because there was it was pretty much a Grand Theft Auto clone. Sure. But it just went off the rails after that. Like, yeah, now it's just like ridiculous. You're fighting like, aliens and shit attacking. You begin the yeah, president. You run around with these fucking dildos and stuff. Let's yeah, see. dildo sword. It's like, what? What is going on? This one guy's video I watched, he made this like really, really, really fat chick. It made her like look completely disgusting. And like, <laughs> and gave her like a thong and like all that kind of shit. So it was like ridiculously nasty looking. She was rocking and, like, whale gave her, tail. Give her fucking, yeah, she had like fucking ponytails or the uh, two of them the pigtails uh, yeah pigtails sorry and uh, clown makeup on her face <laughs> and it was just like smeared mascara like she couldn't put on makeup correctly because her face is that distorted and uh, she'd run around with a dildo sword and attack people and just do random crazy funny shit and I think part of it being so hilarious was because uh, I'm not sure what country he's from but English is not his first language, so it just makes it sound more funny when he's, like, saying random shit. I don't know. I thought it was hilarious anyway. It seems like a good concept, though. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> Fat chicks beating people up with dildos. <laughs> I hope I never see that in the real world. I mean, long as they're not beating me up with a fucking dildo, I don't care. Like, if, if they beat your ass with one, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll videotape them. Like, yeah! Put on, put on Instagram or something. Instagram. That's only for pictures of food. Everybody knows that. False. <laughs> this is what I had for lunch. 
That's what Twitter is for. No, Twitter's for, obviously it's for inappropriate pictures of chicks that pop up in my newsfeed when I'm trying to surf the net with my kid. <laughs> How does that work? Like, it just loads the pictures whenever you do post that shit. Yeah, I didn't know it did that, but it does. Like, it's right oh. there. I understand that. Do you have, like, Twitter up on, like, as a browser? Yeah, like, if I put it on my browser. Like, I don't use it on my phone. Like, if oh. I go to Twitter on my, uh... Cause I can't remember my password or anything, so I don't oh. have it hooked up to my phone. Oh. So, like, it updates... Like, when you post that, when you retweet, read like, that like, Rate My Asians or Hot Milfs or yeah. whatever... Like, it shows up. Dude, that's awesome. I know. It is awesome. I like, I do appreciate that. it when Dirt Bike's not around. But when he's there, like, but I don't care either way. He's already seen cats. He does. Yeah, he has. So. And he used to live in a vagina, so, I mean. Yeah, really. I mean. We're just sick and depraved. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're bad people. But it's okay. Are we bad? <laughs> mm, not really. Like, we're the lesser of, like, the evils around here. Because I guess we could be bad, like, druggy fucking people over all the time that kind of bad or it could be bad like hey like I, showed Jackson? My, I showed my kids some titties <laughs> see, I, don't, I don't see there's anything wrong with that I don't either I'm the, I'm the dad who like watches fucking horror movies with my kid and stuff cause that's how my parents were with me you know when I was a kid I got to watch Freddy and Jason and all that and then didn't fuck with me at all it gave me a love for really bad horror movies yeah that sucks <laughs> don't hate you love it you love my love, even though you hate the movies. I love your love, even though... What? <laughs> I love you like a love song, baby! <laughs> I like that song. I know you do. You know how I know? Why? Because it's pop trash. <laughs> <laughs> you love anything that's stupid. That one... Rebecca Black Bitch? That's whatever Saturday. the fuck her name is? Yeah. She has a new song called Saturday now. Really? Yeah. Is it as terrible? I uh, I don't think so. I thought that that My Jeans song was even worse though. That she didn't I don't do. know that one. My Jeans. Yeah, it's fucking. Terrible. How's it go? I don't. I can't. I've only watched the video once. It was dumb. How's it go. I don't know. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. In my jeans. Yeah. It does, no, it I like, like R and B. Yeah, you're, you're saying in those jeans. But you said in my jeans instead of those. <laughs> in those jeans. In those jeans. It's, so is that like Nate Dogg or is that the guy that like always does the Tupac entrances and stuff? No, I was just going with Aaron Neville. Who's that? He's a fucking singer. Aaron Neville? Yep. Who does he do stuff for? Uh, mainly he's a sitcom guy. I think it's Jenna Rose. So nothing like I'm even talking about. Nope. But oh. That's how it sounds. What? And no jeans. The touch of your the skin. Of cotton. <laughs> that sounds like that dude that always does the Tupac songs. I'm pretty sure. I think that's JoJo. From Casey like, and JoJo. That, really? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Who's Kiki Palmer? I don't know. Jeff? Maybe Jabba. <laughs> this song's really bad. Yeah, it's I like, know. It's like not even make fun bad. It's just like it's bad. It's like sad. Like, I feel embarrassed for this person. Yeah. And like, if you could see, like, she's like definitely like a 14-year-old girl. And she's like making these stupid, exaggerated faces. And it just makes me impressive. Like she's trying to be older? Yeah. <laughs> That bitch gets a punch in the face. I want to beat it up, but not the way you're thinking. I mean, literally, I want to beat her up. <laughs> like, sh 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 <laughs> it sounds like pelvic thrust to me. It does a little bit. <laughs> Wait, we should just leave it ambiguous so they don't know if I'm a pedophile or not. <laughs> I was behind this guy for a minute, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. It's like a M. Nai Shyamalan or whatever. That <laughs> yeah. twist. What is this? <laughs> like, oh, God. The whole plot was he was a pedophile the whole time. Yeah. 
He wasn't saving the kids. Like I said, I wanted to make a fucking movie where it's like a buddy comedy, and the whole time, like, you're rooting for these guys, and, like, it's a cross country movie where they're, like, it's like a road the, trip movie. Yeah, then they're, like, turns out, like, they're in the KKK. Yeah, and at the end, it's like, a clan oh, rally. Fuck. Like, Whoa, what? We like those guys? Yeah, that'd be, that's pretty sweet. We should actually, like, and, like drop that. subtle hints as it's going through, like, like, whenever they see a black guy, they get all nervous and stuff, but, like, just subtly what, what nervous. What if it was, like, uh, it, it's kind of like that, but it's, like, Inception or something, like, or, like, Fight Club, where there's always, like, hints and stuff, like, those kind of movies, then, like, it just fucks you at the end, and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, you and, know, like, like, goes back. Like, in the clan, and, like, oh, my God. Like, Saw, where, like, there's that 30, like, that two-second recap of all the shit you should have saw. Yeah. Like, oh, no! The high <laughs> Oh, Rob Deirdre's high speed recap. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> oh and like, yeah, and then he just gets up and like walks out of the room and closes the door. Game over. Then Amanda has to fucking come in and murk that one guy, and choke him out with some fucking plastic wrap. <laughs> yeah, it's just like murder him because he was gonna kill her though. Yeah, because she was actually gonna like legitimately like, murder him, like not give him a chance. Like the one shit that got like her ribs all ripped off and oh that was rough. Sick one, shit! Angel. I just acid in my hands. <laughs> yeah. That would suck, dude. Drops in the key and acid. That's a yeah. slap in the face. You the like, key still doesn't work. Yeah, you're like really. <laughs> my hand is melted. I don't think you really care at that point. It looks like I touched Brogan's blood hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, where were we? Where, what, what the fuck were we talking about before that? Uh, <laughs> video <laughs> games. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we got. It always comes back to my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, like we started off the show. Let's just talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any uh, other games on my horizon. I'm definitely not gonna get into the next generation of consoles until my Xbox breaks. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really feeling Xbox One or PS4 right now. It's just like I mean, they're cool I'm, I'm gadgets playing. for I'm sure. Playing enough. Yeah, like like the stuff that they do is cool. Like there's some cool stuff, but, but fuck, five hundred bucks right now, mm, not happening. And especially because the failure rate for them is so high. Especially brand new. Oh, it sounds like a hassle. Yeah, and they always screw over early adopters, man. Like if you get that shit first, and then like two years down the line, they're like. If you fucking buy an Xbox now, it's only hundred dollars, and we'll give you free games. And yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I think it'd be cool if I was younger and still like use those things like a lot more. Yeah. It's probably different, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not much of a gamer anymore. Like I've really, looking back, I've never really been a gamer. Like I played yeah. games, but not. Yeah, we definitely played as hardcore as some of those guys did. I yeah, know they like some of our friends still fucking play games well, every day like a lot yeah, and think about it a lot yeah talk about it <laughs> like uh when they when they would have internet parties over Ken's all the time yeah like for what was it Thanksgiving till New Year's or whatever mm-hmm. they just stayed over there for like two weeks straight and did nothing but play for like 20 hours at a time like every single day yeah his room was a desolation pit with all that soda and fucking shit yeah how did they not get cockroaches they did I thought they only got ants. I, thought, I swore they had cockroaches. They might have. I don't know. Towards the end, maybe. Not like during that time period. Yeah, because there was like a mountain of soda in there and food plates and it was bad times. Bad times at Ridgemont High. There's no such thing. Oh, okay. You know I've always liked you. Shut up, Nicole. Same movie, is it? Yeah. Is it? Uh-huh. Spicoli? Yeah, Spicoli. Shot oh, then. where she's like getting out of the pool mm-hmm. and she like takes off her top. He has like masturbating to her and she walks in on him. Yep. Wait. Or the girl. Or the mom. Somebody else walks her in on him. Her mom walks in on him. I think like, you're thinking you've already, of, yeah. I'm like, you've already seen him. Let's, you want to do this? Yeah, you might as well. Touch what you want to. I mean, touch what yeah, you want to. Fuck. Touch my body. Is that the Lady Gaga song you're doing? No, I was doing oh. uh, LL Cool J, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, her does is very nice. <laughs> I don't know that. It's also a little cool, Jay. Huh. Did you know the guy that plays uh, uh, Dead Mike? I think is or is it that Master Arson on TV4? He's a legitimate rap guy. Is he? That's not where I was going. Okay, where are you going with it? Uh, that one movie with uh, Wesley Snipes. He like plays like Wesley Snipes' like best friend and like 
partner or whatever. Blade? <laughs> he was Whistler. I don't know if he knew this. <laughs> Whistler's white. <laughs> and he's a country singer. Is he? Chris Christopherson. Yeah. Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blade, you gotta save me from the vampires or eat the chicken. <laughs> that, that was fucking hilarious. Kenny Rogers jackass. Yep. Catching bats with their teeth. This is where you catch bats with your teeth for points. <laughs> <laughs> then they just beat the fuck. <laughs> you must keep running in and batting people down. <laughs> oh, you lost my teeth. <coughs> then, like at one point, he just talks like so inaudible, like you you don't even inaudible. That's the word. Yeah. Inaudible. Inaudible or inaudible. Inaudible means you can't hear it. Yeah. No, you could hear, but you couldn't understand it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're sticking that up your nose. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a no is in no or no is in yeah. I don't like, it was. No. <laughs> for, for my vantage point, it looked like you're sticking the straw up your nose. No, the straw was in my mouth, but the white thing was like hitting my nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Well, it's Coke, so I was snorting it. Oh. Okay, that's actually fine then. It's Coke Zero. <laughs> What's calories? There's no calories in Coke Zero, but there's like cancer in it, I'm pretty sure. I like the song, but I listen to it way too much. Shadow <laughs> Moses? Yep. I like Breed Me the Horizon. I do too. I like their more style, more so than a lot of the earlier fans that are like, I don't like them anymore because they don't only do fucking just death metal vocals all the time. Yeah. I like it more now. Yeah. I, 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 I like the new album a lot. I've always liked the bands that have clean singing too, <laughs> along, along with their fucking gruffer stuff. They have to like combine them yeah. well. Yeah. What was me broke up? Really? Yeah, that's what TJ told me. That fucking sucks. Yeah. He said supposedly uh, A Day to Remember is going to be a warp for the summer. Nice. I love A Day to Remember. Yeah. I never got to see him live yet. Did you? Mm-hmm. Me and Anita went. You're a dick. Me and Anita did a lot of fun stuff together. I miss dating that chick, but she's kind of a lot of drama. <laughs> Why? Because she's like, I don't know, she always I wants to party. Drama. She just wants to party all the time. And she's just a kid. Yeah. She's not a woman. She's a girl. Yep. How old is she now? 25. She should stop partying soon. She has. I mean, she's pregnant now, so she's well, not party. But well, I mean, obviously now. I mean, I when, when we were together, she wanted to party all the time. But I mean, she probably still does even when she. When, nah, uh, no, 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 not as long as she's pregnant. I mean, no, after. I mean, like, uh, when, when her and her current boyfriend got together, like, they just kind of hung out. They never went to bars anymore. I don't know. Because he's a nerd. So? Like, he wa- all he wants to do is play Warhammer and Magic the Gathering. <laughs> and watch fucking anime all the time. I don't know this guy. Tyler. Yeah. Tyler. He's a... Tyler he's, Thigpen? He's a sweet kid. He's actually really nice. He's just... Really? Know, he's really dumb. Like, really? box of rocks dumb. Is that that one girl that was... Is that the guy that was dating Feather? No. That guy was cool. I like that guy. He was like a burnout. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he was like actually ta- making an effort to actually talk to all of us at the Yeah, I know. Work. I was like, oh, huh, this, this is guy's cool. actually like, this isn't awkward. Just like yeah. yeah, sits there and doesn't say anything to anybody the whole time. Yeah, He's her just, current boyfriend is fucking terrifying. He threatened to shoot me. He threatened to shoot you? Yeah. Why? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> like, one, one day. I got, it was when I was at Black Veil Brides, actually. I got a message on Facebook from her. Who are you? Oh, are you with Adam? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, and I got a message from her on Facebook, and I, I opened it up and read it, and it was like, bro, I'm fucking serious. If you keep talking to my girl, I will fucking shoot you. I was like, were you talking to her? No. <laughs> I think my cousin Matt was, and he just heard the name Brogan and thought it was me. Did you say something to him? Yeah, I was like, what are you fucking talking about? He's like, don't deny it. I've seen the texts. <laughs> Emma? Yeah, it was weird. But I was she said it was you to like, cover for Matt. So no, nah, she, went, she, went she told him that it wasn't me, but he was like, no, you just don't want you just don't want me to fucking know or shit like that. And I guess when she started working there, he came out. It, am, I just, am I just a fucking pessimist or, or like a lot of fucking girls just garbage. I like yeah, like they, they are. It's really hard to find a good one. Like find a girl who's not gonna just like fucking like date her or whatever for like a couple weeks and she just like starts cheating on you or something. It's like, 
what the fuck, you know? Or date you for an entire year and then just be like, hey, I like this guy better. He has bad teeth and he's a fucking douchebag. Yeah, um, that's fucking stupid. So does that mean she was seeing him behind your back for a while then? No, she that swore. She, she cool. swears up and down still that that is not the case. How does she just like date you for a year then just like instantly and just like... Well, because like hey, she broke up with me as soon as she started to like think that she liked him. How is she even talking to him? Because he, uh, she lives with her brother, and his brother work, works with him, and he came over. Like, once or twice? Or, like, every single fucking day? Where they a few out? times. Not, like... How the fuck is that? A few times versus a year? I don't know. Well, I hope they fucking find happiness a little forever. They already broke up. Oh. <laughs> but she's, well. still, she's struggling about it. I think she just wants someone to talk to. I don't want to talk to my ex-girlfriends about their boyfriend problems, Keith. I'm not that guy. I know, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there is anyone who is that guy Cause that guy is fucking stupid <laughs> Yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> Thank god they can't see What just went down Pointed at me with his dick <laughs> <laughs> It had to be done This is the uh, Ex-boyfriend creator Yep, <laughs> the, the home wrecker. <laughs> the home wrecker. I call it the home wrecker. He's got wrecking balls tattooed on his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't move like a wrecking ball. He's gonna come into you with his wrecking balls. <laughs> That's actually very likely. <laughs> it's likely that if you have sex with this man, somebody's gonna come in you. <laughs> Somebody or everybody. Just the baker. Just the baker. Always be making cream pies. <laughs> you know we're shouting. Shouting. Hey, calm. Calm the music. <laughs> <laughs> the stereotypical rap voice that we use every time. Yep. The high pitched fucking singing ready. voice. I like it. Now I've got some Prince going in the background. Dude, you can't fucking beat Prince. I mean, people don't give Prince, Prince enough props for fucking kicking as much ass as he does. You think so? Yeah. Because, like, everyone's like, oh, fucking Prince, he fucking sucks. And I'm like, no. I've never heard anybody say that. Well, no one likes Prince but us. Really? We, the only person you ever talk to Prince about is me. <laughs> and I'm like, I like Prince. And you're like, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about I love Prince. I don't know. I saw that one video, uh... I got a Prince tattoo on his arm. I'd get a Prince tattoo. Would you? No. Oh. I don't love him that much. What did, it? Yeah, I know. That's, that's a lot of love to get tattooed. When Doves Cry is my second favorite song of all time. Really? Really. What's your first song? Uh, Ain't No Sunshine. Which version? The original. Not DMX's version. I don't really like Aww. Nate Dogg. I thought you did. I thought I was the one who didn't. No, I don't like him either, but I always act like I do just to piss you off. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like Nate Dog. I don't, I don't know why. Because he's like fucking, he only has one tone in his voice when he's saying. Yeah, but that's all you need. Yeah, not really. You kind of got to have range a little bit, but. I don't have more than one range. Yeah, I know, and you're a douchebag, so. <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome. That's the only range I know. And when you die, I'm going to get your face airbrushed on a t-shirt and be like, I miss you, dog. <laughs> gonna be you, Lisa Lopez, and Aaliyah. <laughs> oh, Am I in the middle? Yeah. Dude, that's kind of And it's gonna say Thug Angel on it. <laughs> <laughs> thug life. He lived a thug will, life will and he you, died a thug you, death. Will you sing to me like like uh, B Diddy? Oh, you know I will. I write a fucking rap song. What 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 song do you like that I should turn into an anthem for you? It's gotta be something like I gotta that. no no it doesn't yeah. even have to I'll change the words because every step you take is kind of like a weird stalker thing and you I know of, I gotta I gotta come up with like yeah so you can you can like pick any song and I and, I and I like just change I'll use the melody. oh here you go kiss from a rose by Seal <laughs> kiss from a rose yeah do that one okay I'll change the words and then uh, then the chorus will still be the same and like it will make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, your power, your pleasure, and your pain. Baby. My power, my pleasure, my pain. Baby. That's a tight song, dude. It is a tight song, dude. That song is the shit. That's why Seal still has so much goodwill. Like, no one else remembers anything else Seal did. He, he did crazy. But yeah, I know, but the only reason you know that is because better. Mushroom Head. Yeah. <laughs> that cover is awesome, though. Yep. It's legit. Dude, that fucking whole album is awesome. Like, that was, like, one of the best albums to come out that year. That much that one? Yeah. 13? I disagree. I think their first album was better. No, their first album was better, but I'm saying oh. that album was good. 
I don't remember what year it came out anymore. Uh, 2003. Wow, that's a long time ago already, dude. Mm-hmm. Well, think about it. Wisconsin Death Trip came out in 1999. I know. And that's... I think uh, Fellows of Revolutionaries did, too. <laughs> it, it's crazy how long some of those albums have been out. Uh, fucking uh, Raging Against the Machine's first album came out in 1989, and so did Pretty Hate Machine. <laughs> yeah, that's actually unbelievable, because Reznor's like 50 or something. Yeah, no, but he looks really good for I, I don't think he's 50. He's still probably 40. He's old. Dirt. Dude, I didn't know Paul Walker was 40. I know that nigga's He dead. does not like look like 40 at all. No. Not now. Not <laughs> <definitely>. <laughs> that's not what I was going for, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I was not a really bad thing to say. No, go. I was like, man, Paul Walker's hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's still hot in the streets right now. <laughs> the opposite of Paul Walker, Paul living. <laughs> Paul running. <laughs> Christopher Walken. Christopher running. <laughs> the opposite of Christopher Reeves, Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh shit! He's a stand-up dude. And then he's dead. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe you wrote that comic about it. Dude, you wrote that comic after he was dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was still fucking making fun of him. You're like, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Put your comic with a fucking teddy bear in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> the two main characters in this comic is going to be a teddy bear in a tree. I remember when you had me, had me draw the strip club scene. <laughs> and I had like titties popping out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That bitch's face was so busted. I know, dude. <laughs> Could have busted ass face. <laughs> well, back it up, her titties are popping. Oh fuck. <laughs> I was down. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that comic is really old. Cause that was high school. I know, dude. Holy fuck, that was a long time ago. To, to reminisce, we had a lot of fucking, we had a lot of fucking logs in our fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't throw me under the bus! No, Carson Palmer! I don't know you get wet. I don't get wet. Sad face. <laughs> Never get wet. I don't get wet, dog. Dude, look at this. Are you stabbing your belly button? <laughs> Dude, no. I was like talking about somebody doing a body shot off of my belly button. <laughs> and I was like, you, can put, a whole, you can put a whole bottle. <laughs> <laughs> bottle service. <laughs> Somebody will get alcohol poisoning from doing a fucking belly shot on me. <laughs> How long ago was this? Just recently. I was like, uh... Was it, uh... No, it was just at work. It was just... I was, oh. just, I was just doing my usual fucking gay innuendo that I always do when I'm working oh. around people. I was like, you can do a fucking bottle... You can do a body shot off of me if you want. <laughs> I was like, you'll die, though. They're like, say. no. Man, that was a lift of my shirt, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> But stomach gets so saggy because I lost all that weight and it's just empty. I need to fucking do sit ups and stuff to t- tone it down. Yeah. No. You lost the weight too fast. That's why. Don't tell me what you I lost did. it in the wrong way. That's don't tell I mean. me what I did. You lost it in the wrong way. I don't know how to lose it the right way. I lost it through diet and exercise. You weren't doing it right then. If you if you lost it that fast, where it just became saggy skin. Yeah. I guess I was you using. I, I think I think I was doing the wrong it. exercise. You need to lose it more control. That's why you use it. You still have bitches in the head with that? No. I can give them fucking, I can gas mask them with it. <laughs> <laughs> now when I drop it on them, it's not, it's not heavy like it used to be. Cthulk, <laughs> it's like, it kills them. That would suck to get you, like, your head crushed by, like, somebody's gut. Yeah. You think Busher can flex it now? Wish I could definitely flex it. If he could flex it when it was at uh, my fucking heaviest. He but could he? Could he then? I don't know. That's the strongest debate ever. Yeah. That's tough. Was he that big? I don't remember. No. But he, he was big, but not like gigantic. Oh. He was yeah. no fucking Dustin Niles. He needs to take some fucking rolls. Who can't wipe his own ass. Roids. Take some rolls. I never want to get that big where I can't wipe my own ass. I never want to have Ronnie egg titties. I do. So that makes two of us. Wait, what? No, my titties are still kind of perky. You'll never have Ronnie egg titties. I know. It's not. It's not. It's just not in my genetics. <laughs> so is being cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. What will this one do right now? Falling in reverse. Okay. I That's like it. I yeah, I said that. Right, falling in reverse. I can, they have one song that I really like, and I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. But I heard it on... Uh, Pick uh, up the phone? 
It might be. Pick up the phone. Okay, yeah. Because uh, it was on um, one of those random computer radio stations and it played Pandora or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Kyle wants to one song. They have a couple good songs. I heard their new album sucks. Like, he's trying to be like more like rap or something. I don't know if that's true or not, but this is what I've heard. I've heard it sucks. He used to sing for a different band and then went to prison, right? Jail. Jail? He was in uh, Escape the Fate. Okay. Then they kicked him out. And then he started in Falling Reverse. So. Hmm. Did you know that uh, uh, Freak Series is going to have uh, Pop Evil yeah. this weekend? I did not know that until yesterday. I'm not a huge fan of Pop Evil. I really like that one song. But it seems like all their songs sound like other bands. Trenches? Huh? Is it Trenches or Boss's Daughter? Not, no, I hate both of those songs. That's them, right? Yeah, it is. So what song do you like by them? That fucking uh, Deal with the Devil. Oh yeah, they do that one too. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it sounds like Alice in Chains slash Rob Zombie. Yeah, it's like only fifteen bucks to get in. I know your I know your girl will be there. Who? Crystal. Oh. She like I said, she added me on Facebook again. Hit it, dude. No. Why not? You should hit it. She's not ugly. She's just weird. Then why won't you hit it if that's the case? Cause. See, that's that's what really throws me for a loop. Because you don't want to fuck this girl, so something's got to be like horribly fucking wrong with this girl. I don't know, man. Don't just, I, just, I just don't really know. Like, if like she was at my house naked on my bed, I'd probably hit it. But I don't feel like putting any kind of effort into it. And I, I think, don't think you would have to. Though. I think I think she, I, would, I don't so. think you would, cause cause didn't Leanne say that she just wanted to, like fucking take it right there? Yeah, she did. But she was drunk, and I don't do drunk takes. I know, but you could probably get her sober too. Yeah, they're going out. Oh, they went out last night. I was supposed to go hang out with them, but I didn't because I was like, nah, I have work. I really uh, like, I, I it, gotta leave at ten, guys. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to go hang out with those guys at the bar when you have to leave at ten. Yeah, because that's because you're like, oh, because unless just, we leave it, unless, like, unless we all go out at like six thirty. <laughs> yeah, because what? Don't they usually go there around ten anyway? Yeah, that's when they're. It's like pointless. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah. We got a pregame! Pregame! Bottle seven. So, like, you show up fucking just come smashed already out of your mind? It's yeah, like, so that you can just hang out at the bar drunk. That sounds terrible to me. So you get drunk at the bar, then go home and hang out. Yeah. The after party, not pregame. The after party is what the shit goes down. After the party, it's the after party. And after the party, it's the hotel lobby. Holy oh, shit, son. I like where this is going already. I, I don't know. I It baffles me that you... Haven't. I don't know. I really don't know. I can't think of any girls that you wouldn't bang. Well, I'm not saying I wouldn't bang her. I just don't have the urge to. Like, I really don't have the urge to bang anyone right now. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Are you re- are you retiring from the game? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I would like to have a girlfriend who ain't going to fucking screw me over. Because having a girlfriend is awesome. Okay, um... So, what you're saying is... You're gonna try to find a decent chick. So then you can't complain about them being crappy, but I because you're like you're like oh I'm gonna date some bitches who I know are fucking not up to par and they're fucking garbage and then when they fucking break my heart or dump me or whatever you want to fucking say and you're like oh my god I didn't well, see this coming. Well, that's the thing though. When I was with Cindy, it was after we were out of high school and I hadn't talked to her in years. And everybody was telling me how awesome she was and how great of a parent she was and shit like that. So I was like, cool. And she definitely gave me that vibe. But she was lying and acting. So I didn't see that coming. I thought she was legit. She was not legit. So she had to quit. Uh, Carrie, the same way. I thought she was cool and everyone was telling me, oh, yeah, she's really cool. And the same people who always tell me this but stuff. But just because somebody says they're really cool doesn't yeah, no, mean they're fucking, that's what like, I, great girlfriend material. But that's what I go by, though. Like, And plus, like, also, she was, like, actually acting cool and being cool. Uh, Trish, at first, she was really cool. Uh, Emmy was really fucking cool. Like, I thought that she was definitely different. And then, I mean, it's just, I keep getting tricked. <laughs> fucking tricksters. Well, okay. How about this? Okay. I'm willing to listen here. No, you're not. I am too. <laughs> you start listening to me then. I'm listening to you. I know, you exactly. Say start... something! <laughs> <laughs> you, you start listening to me when it comes to my opinion, because I'm telling you, most of the girls, they may be, they were all at one time 
in the stable, and you can't date anybody that's in the stable. You have to like legitimately find somebody. Well, Trish wasn't in the stable. She, she you're right. She wasn't. But you were talking. And neither to her. was Emmy. You're. I thought you got that a few times. No. Before that, before you were dating. Well, okay. She kind of was. For yeah, a bit. she was. But that that wasn't really a stable though. At that okay. point. Okay, that's fine. But you're still like getting it without dating her and like. Yeah. And it, and it's not like, not like, casual like fun sex like you see in the movies where it's like oh cool then like. Then you start hanging out, then you know, and then it becomes yeah. But in fairness, though, I no. lost my virginity to Cindy, and then so? uh, then we didn't sleep to together me. for a long time, and then we didn't even sleep together until we, you know, like got together, and then I created the stable after her. Okay. So like she wasn't in the stable. Like it just happened that we had had sex before, but there there was no stable before Cindy. Like one once Cindy fucking fucked me over, I created the stable. Okay. So. So I'm defending my choices here. <laughs> so what you're telling me is. I'm that completely wrong, Keith. I'm willing. To, I know that. You you need to just be like. Not. Not. Date anyone you've ever previously talked. To. Exactly. Or, well, their, I, or their friends or any of that. Why well, like, I need to completely be, unrelated, like is, unknowing of these people. Is date somebody. And then not have sex with them for like a month or two. It doesn't, while have, to be, it doesn't even have to be that. It just needs to be somebody completely that I that, just don't know. Whatever happened to that one girl that was from Minnesota or whatever? I don't even know, man. She was stuck talking. Well, so what was the deal with that thing? Because I thought she was Emmy for a while. No, they just look a lot alike. Which is really weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what, how'd, that, how'd that go down? What happened? She just, like, was down here or something? Yeah, down here was staying with her sister, and then she moved away. She worked at uh, one of the restaurants. She was a waitress. You were hanging out with her, like, every day? Yeah. She was a lot of fun, but I don't know. But? Then I started hanging out with Anita again, and also Emmy, so. And Anita and Emily didn't like each other, do they? No. Still don't. Does Cindy still not like Anita? No. Me and Cindy have a good with Anita. I know, but I thought they didn't, had a falling out or whatever. Yeah, they did. Because, uh, Are they cool together or something? Well, it's awesome. Like, I feel really good about the reason that they hate each other. Because, because like, they both want you? Yeah, because Anita kept coming over to my but house Cindy, every day. But married, though, so... Yeah. I mean... I don't know. Like, I haven't messed with Cindy since forever, so... I don't intend to. Because I'm kind of friends with her husband. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have no intention to. She did write me a letter, though, saying that she wanted to get with me and stuff. She's like, Are you serious? I'm serious. <laughs> Dude, you can't. I, I'm not going to, Keith. Not, even, even if you were not friends with her husband. Yeah, I know. Dude, you I know. She's can't. fucking bad. She fucked me over bad. Like, I mean, she did. She's bad news. I know that. They're all bad news, dude. Yeah. And you don't, you don't fucking listen to me. I know. Even though you know better, you're like, I don't give I a fuck. I do know better. You're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to do it. Then I'm fucking burn in the end and be like, why is this happening? I know. Ah! That's, that's why when, it ha- when I got broke up with this time and you're like, you need me to come over? I was like, no. Because <laughs> I didn't want to get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro! Bro! <laughs> the other one was a shocker, though. Yeah. That was fucking crazy. I did not see that coming whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I, That's why I don't think love exists I'm, in this world. I'm kind of with you on that, really. I don't like, think it's real. I have love for people, but, like, okay, I think love exists, but not romantic love. Okay. Like, I think some love doesn't count. Like, and I say that, like, oh, you love the people who parented you. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, I don't count that love as, like, having, like, really emotional feelings of love for, like, some, somebody you've met. you be like, oh, man, I really love this girl. Like, I don't have a predisposition reason to love her. Yeah. But I just do. Yeah, it just happens. Yep. I really don't. I think that's lust, and you fucking trick yourself into thinking it's love, and then it's just not. How can we make it? We can make it in this world. 
Without love, <laughs> I wouldn't believe. <laughs> I just wanna love you. Yeah, I just. I really don't know, man. Like, if I fucking go through my Facebook messages here, I've got so many chicks, like, now that I'm single, like, trying to holler at me and stuff. And I've just been shutting everybody down. Were they hollering on you while they... No, they waited. You, they waited, oh, they, waited. Yeah, they, yeah. they at least had respect this time? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. But, like... Really, really? I'm, it's just, like, fucking... Really, really? Really, really? really? Okay. Huh. Interesting. Yep. Just... I don't know, man. I'm just not... Up. All the ones you previously banged a bunch? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, I got I'm gonna uh go fake names here. <laughs> Alright, fake names, let's do this. Uh uh Smegan Johnses. <laughs> <laughs> um Calicia Landrist. <laughs> You don't have to pay her though. Sasha Nixoni. I didn't. I didn't have to pay her when I. I don't. Did. I don't know that one girl. Sasha. Is she like the porn star? Or, no. Or the stripper? Uh-uh. No, the stripper was named Sasha, but it's a different Sasha. Oh. What else? Actually, that's it. I thought there was more. What are you? Uh, are you? Oh, and. Uh, uh, Patricia Johns's. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even trying. Like, <laughs> that's that's pretty terrible. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I got some sisters after me right now. <laughs> the sisters. Goodness <laughs> gracious, the papers. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Andy Dufresne had trouble with the sisters. Oh no, not the sisters! <laughs> not the Shawshank sisters, man! They rape you. <laughs> I know. I want them to. Even fucking you. even Red got brutally gang raped. Did he? Yeah. Red got raped by the sisters. Yeah, when he first got there. No. Yeah. It's, well, in the book, not in the movie. Oh. Well, it, probably in the movie. I think it's implied that he did in the movie too. Really? I don't remember that. Yeah, he said everybody gets it. About those three. How many are there? Three or four? Four, I think. That one. That one really like weird looking, ugly white guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> That's you. It is. I'm like, a fucking terrible prison rapist. You don't have to dress up and you can be in character. <laughs> You're a prison rapist. I rape the rapists. Yep. Justice served with a dick. <laughs> Mean this, uh, uh, two, two things. Two things. One, uh, now from Megan, right? From, yeah. She said you used to make fun of her really bad all the time. Like with when uh when you'd be with like Jake or Jake would be at the bank and you'd see him and he would say something to her. She said you used to really make fun of her. That is honestly not true. I have no idea. That's what that's what she said. About. That's what she said. She said you would be with Jake and Jake would say something to her, and uh, then you'd make a joke about it. That's now, what she said. Yeah, you need to tell her she's delusional because that okay. never once happened. Okay. Okay. First of all, that's not my style. You know that. Second of all, I don't really talk to Jake, and no, neither I didn't either. I would be walking by, and he'd be like, "Bro, go, bro, go," and I'd be like, <laughs> "I don't know, dude." Yeah. I like this one or song too. But anyway, that's besides the point. The second thing is, uh, let's let's go with a fake name. Her and I think that. This other girl has like flirted with me before. Um, uh, and like hinted at, and like gets all touchy feely when she's like drinks time at the bar. And you were there one of the times when she put her arm around me mm -hmm. when I, when you were with Anita and I was hanging out with you guys. Yep, I know who you're talking about. And uh, yeah, she put her arm around me and was like flirting with me and stuff. We think she wants to ban me, but she's like scared of the D. Yeah. Because uh, I was talking to Megan, and she's like, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure she likes you and, like, wants to, wants to, but she's scared. I'm like, what's she scared of? She's like, I think she's scared of the D. And I was like... Is uh, there rumors being spread out around there about I, the D? I, honestly, I don't know. No, I haven't heard anything. Uh, probably, you probably won't, because, like, I'm hated. <laughs> Which isn't really a surprise. 
Yeah. Maybe not so much on third shift, but a lot of third shift is way different than from when I was there. Yeah, it's a big turnover, right? Yeah, and uh, I think I was joking. I was like, I was like, well, whenever she doesn't get scared, I'm just gonna fucking throw her legs over her head and fucking pound it hard. Like fucking just put them over her head and just fucking bam, bam, just fucking destroy it. Then she will be scared of the D forever. For sure. But you need to tell your friend. That bothers me. You need to tell Megan that I have no problem with her. Nor that's why I said I. She she remembered. I was like I was like that doesn't sound like him. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he didn't. She's like, well, he did. He made fun of me a few times with Jake when, and I was like, oh yeah. Right. I was like. I was like, okay, if you say so. I'm like, I don't think that was. It doesn't sound like him, but yeah, like hey, it, it doesn't matter what I say. It's yeah, what that's she crazy. Remembers. We like that's, that's what she remembers. Yeah, because I've never like I don't know her well enough to make fun of her. I don't know, dude. And uh, I don't give Jake shit for banging her. I give her shit for banging Jake. <laughs> that's probably what it was. Yeah. That's probably what it is. Yeah. If, if yeah, it, giving her shit for banging Jake is probably what yeah. it was back then. Yeah, because, like, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's stuff wrong with him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's yeah. just, yeah, that's just what I remember. I have no beef with her whatsoever. I don't know. She said she said you were nice now, but you used to make fun of her really yeah, bad. I'm like, I don't remember that. She's very mistaken on that front. That That's, that's fine, but that's what she remembers, dude. No, I know. I mean, this is weird. I'm getting really tired of hearing Foo Fighters, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't really like them that much anymore. I, I do. I, like I, have, I, have the, I have the greatest hits album, so it takes up most of my newer downloads, mm-hmm. so it plays constantly, and I'm like, fuck, I'm tired of hearing this. Like then like, 105.7 plays it along, too. Yeah. 105.7 plays this shit a lot, too, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. I don't really like this song. This song, got, this song, and it's only because I used to have a paper route when this song was really popular. And every morning would be wrapping the papers up and it would come watching VH1, and this fucking video would come on every fucking day. This and Scar Tissue by uh, fucking Scar Ray Tissue, Ray. Yeah, we should and, show. And, and Californication. Like, I can't. I'm Californication. Yeah, I know. It, it, it's burned out for me. I can't. Do it. push up raw. Make cover band. Awesome. Honestly, we are really good. <laughs> I, I would consider it. I don't know. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that sounds like a pretty decent first crack at this, so we can see how well the mic yeah, sounds. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be in two parts. I'll upload it in two parts. Which is the? I think the second might be better. Than the first. Yeah, because like it's like we just kind of forgot that it was there and just started talking about real talk. <laughs> I, I, see, I didn't, I didn't forget about it. But yeah, but it was it, like it, it just sounded it just sounded better like we were talking about more things because like we started getting conversations where we get like escalated like uh, like start doing voices and escalated and like yeah. start arguing back and forth where it gets better. I think. Yeah. So hopefully uh, it continues to get better and better and. Uh, yeah. Get some viewers or listeners or whatever and suggest uh, fucking future topics. We'll talk about whatever because we literally... And, and maybe we'll get a fucking Skype line where people can call in live and we can yeah. shoot the show on Twitch maybe one of these days. Yeah, because Twitch... We, a weekly Twitch show. Yeah, because it'd probably be better if we had a microphone actually there and we're doing... I, I do have a microphone. Yeah, is it a good one, though? Like it, it picks up decent. I don't know how well, though. Yeah, it, yeah. it would have to be one of those things that, like... I would have to get on Twitch and somebody else would have to watch it and tell yeah. me how it sounds. Yeah, if you're streaming, yeah. But yeah, but yeah this is uh, Kurt and Brogan fucking saying peace out. Keep peace out, tight. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Appar- apparently, don't just bang random skanks and don't get your heart involved with ladies. <laughs> yeah, don't have a blown out cooch. Deuces, dog. Peace. <laughs>